What's up YouTube, Christopher C. Manga here. I'm going to review episode 3 of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Um, I'm actually really loving this series right now. It's funny, it's action-packed, and it's, you know, it's taking the turtles in a new direction, basically. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you really watch it if you're a fan of the Ninja Turtles, that is. Even, even if you're not a fan, go watch it, because it's really fun. You know, anybody can get into it. But um, I didn't review last week's episodes. I missed out on that, but I'm just going to do this week's one. I'm not gonna do a recap because you know you've probably already seen it, but um, it was really good. Anyway, the turtles basically, you know, they're on patrol. They're looking for the Krang um, to get. They're basically looking for leads to find April's dad. Um, so basically, they're on a stakeout on a rooftop. Basically, the Krang, and then um, basically this guy that lives in the building comes into them and he comes to them and he says, um, you know, you guys are trash my satellite. And then he realized that they're actually not human. They're like, you know. The, the turtles basically but he mistakes them for frogs or you know he's probably just being a dickhead he keeps calling them frogs and then you know that obviously pisses off Raphael and you know he confronts him and then you know while they're arguing back and forth the Krang actually hears them and they rush to the rooftop you know which starts a fight basically but while they're fighting now the same guy um actually you know, took he started re video recording them and then basically um he's, he obviously wants to sell the recording to get money so basically, after the fight, you know, Finn ends, basically, um, he, he leaves, and then the turtle have to leave as well. So they go back to Splinter. Splinter, you know, tries to tell Raphael to control his anger. His anger can get him into trouble. So they do a little exercise, basically, you know, to show how... To basically show that he doesn't have control of his anger, and until he has that control, then he wouldn't really be a part of the team. Um, so basically, they go out again, basically, to find the guy and retrieve the, the camera. Um basically so you know they don't get in trouble i guess and they find him and then um he he says you know i'll quite happily give you the camera if you give me like i think a hundred grand or something like that basically he just wants he wants to profit from the video and obviously they don't have they don't have any money so they're trying to reason with him Raphael actually tries to be nice for once but he quickly changes he's like you know what give me the camera or i'll smash your head in and then <laughs> it's funny what's funny is the guy doesn't really take their threat seriously he's just like whatever man this, you're gonna pay for you're gonna pay me or not move on but then at the same time the Krang appear again and then you know another fight starts the guy actually missed, the guy with the camera actually you know got in the Krang's um, vehicle by accident and then Raph went after him and then you know long story short he tried to you know get a camera from him forcefully that didn't work out the Krang kick him out of the van and they, they leave the guy um, Leonardo confronts Raph saying you know your anger you, if you can't control your anger you can't be a part of the team basically his anger led them to lose the battle basically so Leonardo kicks him off the team for a bit and said you know until you control your anger you're not going to be a part of this mission and he just sends him away um he goes back to the sewer and then Master Splinter tells him a story about him and Hiroshi Saki who was the shredder and that you know Hiroshi Saki used to insult uh, Master Splinter all the time and um he actually reacted one time and that reaction sparked you know an ongoing you know war between the two of them which eventually led to the death of his um I think his fiance or his girlfriend um so yeah basically he just said you know there's consequences for being angry and then um Raphael actually understood that and then you know the scene switches now to the you know Leonardo Donatello and Michelangelo um trying to rescue you know the arsehole of the camera basically and um he's trying to make a deal with the Krang saying you know I'll you know I'll sell for five million or something like that and then I don't think he's aware of, I don't think he's aware of the situation that he's in but he's he's an idiot Anyway, the Toes try to rescue him, and then, you know, he's saying, okay, I'm not leaving without my camera, you know, making the commotion, the Krang actually realise they're trying to rescue him, and then, you know, they start fighting again. While the fight's going on now, basically, um, he tries to go for his phone, but um, <laughs> he falls out of a chair, and there's the same mutagen, or the same liquid that turns the Toes into, you know, mutants, fell on him while a spider was in his proximity, which kind of, I think it spliced their DNA. So basically, he turns out to be this humongous hideous spider creature and then uh, Michelangelo quite fittingly calls him spider bite um because he has a knack for naming the villains in the series now so basically they all they go for like this big fight now and then you know they're pinned down they, they actually can't beat him he's really stronger than them but then Raphael shows up and obviously Raphael is the strongest of the four basically physically and you know martial arts wise he's superior than the four of them so basically he takes on spider bite you know and with this um with this new you know renewed self-control basically he manages to defeat um spider bite and then you know the turtles actually you know overpower him and then yeah they, they beat him basically and the phone gets smashed so he has no reason to fight anymore and then he, he retreats um and that's you know pretty much the end of the episode basically um it's just 
I don't know, it's, it's, I wouldn't really call it a sub episode. I think it's an episode to just, just, just introduce us into the new feel of the show, basically. We're just slowly getting pushed into it. We're getting new villains introduced. Next week, we're promised to see the Shredder, so that's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to that, actually. Um, and yeah, you know, this, the series is good. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's, um, it's fantastic. I love it. The art style. Um, so, you know, some people might not like the art style. You know, it's, it's um, CGI, basically. It's not like, you know, animation basically drawn. But it's, it's, it's done in a way where it feels like it's hand-drawn, so you get the best of both. So, you know, um, I recommend you give it a chance, watch it, and, you know, the, the, the voice acting is great, spot on, I love that. All the voices fit perfectly. I like the way we've got, the, the Splinter in this series isn't, like, old, decrepit, he's actually, you know, kind of, you know, fairly young, so that's really cool. This, this is a new take of Splinter that I've ever seen before. The Splinter we usually see is that like he's really old and, you know, he can't really do much, but this one looks like he actually can fight, so that's going to be interesting later on. Um, so, you know, the series is going really good so far, um, enjoying the episodes, even though we're in episode 3, there's still, you know, it could change anyway, but at the moment, it's good. Um, you know, this episode, you know, I'll give it, you know, 8 out of 10, it was really good, I um, enjoyed it, and, you know, stay tuned for more videos, basically, I'm gonna, you know, try and keep up with the series, and let you guys know, you know, how it's going, but yeah, again, this is Chris, and obviously, rate, comment, and let me know what you think of the video, so yeah, and subscribe for more, obviously, so, take care.